What's the haps everyone? It's Joe here, and today I'm here to talk about the best dark glass pedal that you haven't heard of, the Harmonic Booster. So I got a chance to try this pedal out at NAMM last year, back when we could gather in public spaces with a lot of people and it was a cool thing to do. Uh, they had these huge pedal boards set up over at the dark glass booth, like literally everything they had. And the one thing that I never heard of before I was there was this harmonic booster. So I tried this thing with a bunch of different configurations and what I found was no matter what amp and cab sim pedal they had, whether it was the, the BK7 or the Ultra or the Alpha and Omega, this thing running before any of them spiced them up so much. It is like the secret sauce to your bass tone. What I really enjoy about this pedal is it's basically a character pedal for your bass. Uh, this is something that you can throw right at the beginning of your live rig, right at the front of the signal chain, give it a little spice. Even if you're recording, I'm probably just gonna use this right on my desk, run my DIs through it, because this is the perfect way to get your tone where you want it to go before you hit any of that other stuff, the distortions, EQs, compression, whatever you have going on. So there are four knobs, pretty simple here. Uh, boost, which controls most of the level. I think it adds a little saturation or something on there too. We have this character knob where if you turn it all the way up, you get sort of a scooped sound where the highs pop out a little more. And if you turn it all the way down, you get a flatter EQ curve. And then we have this selectable mid frequency with a mid gain, which is super awesome because depending on the bass I'm using, I either love to crank up the mids a little bit or to cut back on like four or 500 Hertz. So this is exactly what you want for that. You can basically get whatever result you want out of these. If you need a little bass enhancement, this knob sitting here at 80 Hertz, magic, just works perfectly. So add a little bit of that and your bass tone's sitting solid. So for this first example, I'm using my Dingwall NG2. Uh, you know, those low strings on the Dingwall, they are as responsive as anything. So this is a perfect riff to test this out on. One thing I like to do, uh, I normally don't use the EQ that comes on the NG2, but from what I hear, the tone capsule from Dark Glass that's inside the NG2 is actually very similar to the Harmonic Booster's EQ as well. So you can get all your results there and not have to waste a bunch of nine volt batteries. I get so lazy changing those out. I just like never use the EQ on there. So I'm running my bass passive. You'll hear that. I scoop a little bit of the mids out on the pedal, add a little character as well and a little boost, which just gives it some life. I'm gonna show you that. For this next example, I have my Saito 521B five string bass. Uh, this bass gets a really great high mid response, very present bell-like tones. So I wanted to accentuate those a little bit as well by boosting the mids a little bit, and I wanted to reinforce the low end. So I boosted a little bit of bass, and we got that character and boost going as well. So this tone will have a lot more character to it than the original. <laughs> And finally, for this last example, I wanted to go for something a little more of a vintage vibe. So I'm using my 72 Jazz Bass. I turned the character knob on this uh, counterclockwise, so our EQ curve is a little more flat. Turn the treble down, and I'm boosting the low mids as well as the bass. So you'll really get one of those almost flat wound kind of tones. So you've heard what this pedal can do just to your DI. So now I'm gonna show you what it's like to use this in front of your amp sim as well. For the amp here, I'm using Audified's Peridot Pro. It's a 
bass amp simulator plugin. Fantastic plugin. So I'm gonna show you two examples. The first will just be my DI going straight into Peridot. The second will be our Harmonic Booster Enhanced DI running through Peridot. So in almost every instance when I try this pedal out, the harmonic booster is adding something that I enjoy. I wouldn't want to go without this in my rig and it's going to be an extremely valuable part going forward. The best applications for this pedal uh, are going to be live, right at the front of your rig if you put it right at the start. You can dial in your tone with the EQ right there. It's going to go perfect into whatever pedal you're running next. A lot of the other Dark Glass pedals, if you have some of the amp sims, already have a process where they uh, split the signal and process it parallel, so the bottom end and the top end get processed in different ways, where the bottom end stays compressed and clean, and the top end gets more distorted. I think the Harmonic Booster works great in that scenario as well, just to add a little more uh, tube-like saturation to your bottom end signal. If you're a studio musician or you just track a lot at home like I do, I think this thing is perfect for the studio as well. A lot of times I'm adding different software saturators or tape saturator or something like that to my bass just to give it a little more life. Instead of having to simulate something like an old analog preamp or converter, I now have this pedal and it's gonna add that nice tube-like saturation that we all love. You know, take that DI from being a really sterile thing and make it sound really great. And my tone's just gonna be where I want it from the start. If I want the extra mids, I want the extra highs, I can have that right there, and then my amp sims later have to do less work. This pedal makes it very easy to dial in the tones. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing the Dark Glass Harmonic Booster. Definitely consider checking it out if you haven't already. By the way, I saved this for the end here. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, YouTube tells me that 92% of you are not subscribed, those who are watching my videos. So even if half of you now subscribe, like the video, that helps me out a whole bunch. I'd love to bring more reviews like this to you in the future. Oh my God. I'd love to bring more reviews like this to you in the future. So uh, if you enjoyed it, please let me know. Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.